On the back of a tractor trailer bed, the 505 Scranton trolley car is brought back into the Scranton Trolley Museum repair shop in Music. This trolley car was originally built in 1929 and was in rough shape when it was discovered. A group of people in Lackawanna County formed a committee to raise the funds for the restoration. Realistically, we're in the final third, which is very exciting. You know, we've been working on this for a number of years now, and uh, COVID was tough on us, but we're, you know, we're back at it and uh, really making a lot of progress. This trolley is one of only two Scranton trolleys known in existence. A committee was put together more than a decade ago, aiming to fully restore the 505 car. Scranton is the home of electric transit, getting its start back in the late 1800s. And it was important to have this piece of history brought back to life. These streetcars served until the end of our streetcar service. Anniversary is coming up soon on December 18, 1954. Many, many museums do not have the opportunity to have a, a car from where they are actually operate, you know, in the city they're operating in. Um, and for us, it's they're very special. Dominic Keating says seeing the trolley come back to life brings back so many memories. I rode this car and, and its sister cars on the uh, Dunmore Suburban and Green Ridge Suburban lines as a young kid. It's taken nearly four years for the project to get this far because it required people with the expertise to do the work. Luckily, they didn't have to go too far for this portion of the restoration. Uh, all this work was done in Honesdale. Uh, by a number of shops up that way, and uh, we hope to continue that uh, when we start on the woodwork this spring. The committee hopes to have the 505 trolley fully restored by 2026. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.